Hi everybody, quick video about technique today. And here's something which I think is a fundamental problem for a lot of people playing. It's just, I'm just gonna focus on purely how the right hand makes the picking movement. And I think one thing we really need to avoid in order to play fast and consistently is going our arms going into spasm, basically. And I've been heavily influenced in my thinking about picking by Tuck Andrus, who wrote a really, even though he's a fingerstyle jazz guitarist, he wrote a really good article about picking. And um, he uh, talks a little bit about um, the different movements that the hand can make when picking. So this movement tends to lock up very quickly. This movement, the rotation is a bit better. You can have finger movements like circle picking. I'll talk a little bit about that later on. And then um, in the end, he advocates for Benson picking, which is this movement, which can only be made if you're holding the pick like this. And obviously you'll see me play that sometime, play like this sometimes. You know, uh, students of Rodney Jones, such as um, Cheryl Bailey and uh, Miles Okazaki, they all play with this kind of technique. It's very common. Dan Wilson, Cecil Alexander. In fact, if anything, I'd say it's probably more common now than it was. Um, and it's not just because everybody's copying Benson. It, uh, Adam Rogers, that's another one. It's just a really good way to play. Um, so, that's a fantastic article and I'll link it and you should definitely go and check it out. But um, one thing it doesn't really touch on, if I recall, and something which I found very useful, is the idea of um, making upstrokes and downstrokes qualitatively different movements. What do I mean by that? Well, for whatever reason, the human body doesn't really seem to like alternating the same movement. We tend to lock up. Um, and this is particularly acute, you know, when you're doing the side-to-side -side wrist movement. But I think it's even true... Well, so when I'm doing that movement, I go, you know, does that. Um, so one thing I learned really from doing, learning um, breaststroke picking, gypsy style picking, so-called, um, about 10 years ago, was the fact that I was advised when I was learning to make my downstrokes and upstrokes in different ways. So my downstrokes would be like the whole arm going down like this. Obviously having a rest stroke, so once you just get that, you know, the rest stroke means that you can have some control over what notes you're playing okay and then the upstroke would be a twist of the wrist it would be a, a wrist rotation as Andres would call it probably and this can be made to work pretty fast right so um, this is uh, the way I picked for a long time and then over time I sort of started to explore some different movements so to make it easier to Play, like descending up edges and things I started to use my fingers more and then I don't find that gypsy style picking works terribly well on electric guitar it's nice to have your hand down to mute a little bit especially when playing distorted at least I think so so the quality of movement that I have to make becomes different and for a long time it's using the wrist like this but increasingly I started to explore using the fingers and this is where this movement comes in this is something if not actually the kind of circle picking that Kenny Burrell use, uses, used, uses, I think he still uses it, um, then it would be something similar. And again, like notice I'm going in a circle. Again, knowing that the body doesn't like to alternate the same movement, it likes to do something more organic. And the circle is, I think, more organic than just going up and down like that. Um, so in terms of what I'm doing here, it's two different movements. I'm moving the pick downwards, I think, mostly using an impetus from my thumb. And I'm drawing the pick in with the, the finger joints, like this. And this movement, oh, it's probably not the fastest, but I could do it all day. And I think this is because, like the gypsy picking, like the rest stroke picking, I'm using my upstrokes and downstrokes from different places which seems to work better with what the body wants to do. So there's different ways you could work that, depending on how you pick. Those are two ways that I pick. Um, I also do the, uh, well, I don't know if it's Benson picking, strictly speaking, but I also tend to make the same movements when I'm picking underhand like this. Down straights with the arm. And sort of up straights, more as rotations. And um, when you're practicing this, I, well, when I was practicing this, I certainly found it really useful to really exaggerate those movements. So really get embody the feeling of the whole arm doing the downstroke, you know, like that, or however you're doing it. And really feel that movement of the, the wrist rotation pulling away. 
I know we're all meant to practice with small movements when we're practicing to play fast, but I don't think the objective is necessarily to play fast. Fast speed is a byproduct of of uh, physical freedom, that's the way I see it. So that's the way I've looked at it. Um, and again, you know, with, with, with this, you can do the same thing. So downstroke, pull in, downstroke, pull in. Explore that movement, get used to that movement, and then apply it to the guitar. You know, and there's, there's all kinds of different ways. Especially with like hybrid picking, for instance. If I do hybrid picking, and I want to suddenly pick a little line, I can't really sort of go like that because I'll just pull my fingers out of position. So I have to pick more of my fingers. Again. So again, that little circle picking thing can be handy there. Um, anyway, it's something to think about. Um, let me know what you think below. Uh, hopefully that might help you out if you're finding some technical hurdles with your picking. Um, and leave any comments you have below. Thanks for watching.